Matthew here at FiberglassSupply.com. In this video, we're going to show you how to make building putty. Building putty is the glue that you use in stitching glue boat building. In this video, we're just going to show you the putty. We have a whole nother video that shows you the process of using the putty and applying the fiberglass tape over it. So hang on here and let's get ready to mix up some stuff. The materials and supplies that you need to make filleting putty are your resin system, a filler, in this case we're using West 405 filleting blend, System 3's wood flour would also work. We need mixing buckets, we need stir sticks, and we need some safety equipment. We need gloves and a dust mask. I'm not going to wear a dust mask during the video because you don't want to listen to me talk to you through that, uh, but I would recommend wearing one. Alright, the first step now that we're gloved up is we need to mix up our epoxy. We want to mix that before we add any fillers because we want to make sure it's well mixed so that it cures properly. Adding the fillers before we mix it could lead to cure issues. So we've got our graduated cup and we're going to get some epoxy here. One tip is you don't want to mix up more than you can get out into the boat in about 10 minutes. All right, so now we have our correct ratio of resin and harder in there. We're gonna mix that for about two minutes, making sure we scrape the bottom and the sides as we mix to get it thoroughly mixed. You wanna make sure, like I said, we mix that, scrape the sides and the bottom. That really, really got mixed up. Okay, once we have our resin fully mixed up, we want to begin adding our filleting blend. And we're going to add just a little bit of time, get that mixed in, add a little bit more, and keep going until we're about peanut butter consistency. The reason we want to do a little bit at a time is if we just dump a bunch in there and stir it, we're just going to push that out into the air. Uh, we want to mix it into our epoxy. So a little bit at a time, get it mixed in, keep adding, keep adding. I want to make sure we get scraped all the way down to the bottom and work that resin up. So down underneath there we can get, especially on a bigger batch, we can get uh, liquid resin underneath and be really like thick at the top. So you want to make sure you're getting, you know, pulling the stuff up from the bottom and working it. So you see it's starting to get thicker. And, but it's still running off our stick pretty fast. So we want to work that a little bit more and then we're going to add some more, or some more filler to it. Again, you want to only mix up about what you can get out of the bucket and into the boat in about 10 minutes after you're done mixing. Uh, keep in mind that the epoxy here in the container is going to generate its own heat, get hotter faster, which means it will cure faster than resin uh, or than the putty spread out in the boat. The bigger the fillet is, the thicker the resin needs to be. You know, if we're doing a small fillet on like a kayak, as thick as this resin is right now, we're probably good. The bigger it is, the more likely it is to slump. Even if it still is a little runny, once you put the fiberglass tape over, that helps hold it in place. See how that really is getting closer to peanut butter consistency and starting to hang up on our stick. Can go too far, and what that looks like is it looks like dry and chunky. There we go. That's what we want. I'm still dropping off of there, but see how it takes it a while to do that. We still got a nice wet sheen. We're not too dry. It's not really chunky. That will hang up in a joint uh, really well. There you have it. Start with your epoxy, mix it on ratio, mix it thoroughly for about two minutes before you begin adding filler. Add filler a little bit at a time, mix it in slowly until you get it to about peanut butter consistency and where it really wants to hang on that stick and not fall off. Next trick to this that I didn't tell you we were going to show you in the beginning is the easiest way to get this out of here and into the boat seam is to use a plastic bag like a cake bag and squirt it into that seam. So uh, let me grab a bag and I'll show you how that works. 
Okay, again, we have a whole nother video on the gluing process where we show what to do with this putty after you've mixed it. But I just want to touch on this real quick. The easiest way to get it out of the container is going to be to use a cake bag. And what we're going to do here is simply we're going to drop the putty into this bag. Really, this is just a plain and simple plastic bag. Get the putty in there. Go. Hold that down. So once we've got our putty in there, we're just going to tip off an end bag. And now we can just squeeze that out nice and cleanly in the joint or wherever we want to squeeze it. Alright, that's it for making epoxy filling putty. You start with your epoxy, mix it on ratio for two minutes. Add the filler a little bit at a time until you have peanut butter consistency putty. Put the putty in a cake bag, squeeze it in the joint. We have a whole video on stitch and glue boat building just on the gluing section. So check that out. We'll throw a link up here or here or somewhere. And thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe.